break out the pieces Fix them and make them shine I will not be defeated Because this world is mine Guys, Brave Alien are here, and welcome to episode number 12 of our Pokemon Fire Red Omega Nuzlocke Challenge. In the last episode, we took on the Team Rocket base underneath the game corner and uh, challenged Giovanni, and he gave us a lot of trouble. In fact, I was very surprised that the lot didn't end right there and then. I really thought it was going to, which would have sucked because I didn't want to lose another Fire Red Omega lock. But we managed to get through, mainly because of um, Nikki surviving a double edge from a Persian on 1 HP. That was the only reason that we survived. But we have got a brand new team, all trained up if you watched the grinding montage just before this. 
So, uh, yeah, if you're excited for this episode of Fire Red Omega, please do go give me a like down below, comment and subscribe. You know that I appreciate all of your interaction. So, let's have a quick team recap scene as everything has changed. Uh, we'll start with the stuff that you already know. We have got Nikki the Jinx, level 35. Trained everybody up to level 35, mostly. Uh, with Confusion, learn Ice Beam during grinding. Which is better than Ice Punch, obviously, but still, I really want a better Psychic type move now. Really need, do want Psychic, and uh, I don't really want to use the TM from Saffron City to get it. I know I could, but I don't really want to. Uh, also rocking Water Pulse from, pull from Thief. I really couldn't get that out then. Uh, we've got Swift the Swallow, level 35, with Wing Attack, Quick Attack, Focus Energy, and Double Team. Not the best move set on Swift. I could do him throw fly in there i suppose we got fly in the last episode so we can do that was it last episode the episode before might have been the episode before actually and hey, we've got photon the level 36 jolteon with shockwave double kick bite and sand attack 36 photon is i couldn't keep his levels down uh, we've got fire pit the level 35 quillava evolved during grinding from a cyndaquil uh, and will evolve next level actually which 117 experience points because I kept needing to switch him in on uh, on a couple of things during grinding. So we've got Flame Wheel, Crush Claw, Swift, and Quick Attack. So not the best move set at the moment. Going to loot what TMs he can learn. Then we've got Irwin, the level 35 Feraligator with Water Gun, Ice Punch, Crunch, and Agility. We need a better Water type move on him there. Uh, he's not got the best special attack to use that, but still, it's it's, it's still useful. And then, last but not least, unfortunately, if you watch the grinding, you'll notice that we did have a death during grinding. Um, Wanda the Breloom didn't survive. It was actually... Uh, it was really irritating what happened. So what happened is I, um, I was battling against um, the trainers that are to the west of Lavender Town. And using the Versus Seeker, which is a cool little function that I completely forgot about in previous grinding. So, I did that, and the, um, there was a Delcatty there, who, for some strange reason, lived a Mac Punch, and then he got, like, a three-hit double slap on me, and I was already poisoned, and the poison ended up taking me out, and it really sucked. So, we got Phil, the level 35 Venusaur, with Razor Leaf Growth, Double Edge, and Petal Dance. I'm only using Petal Dance in emergencies when, like... I just need a big one shot uh, because I don't want to be locking myself into Petal Dance too much. So we're here in Celadon City. I kind of don't want to take on Erica at the moment, but I kind of do at the same time. I'm a little bit confused as to where I'm supposed to go, really. I don't know what's going to be good and what's going to be bad. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stock up. I'm going to stock up on items first and foremost. I used a lot of items during grinding, so. Because you don't want to keep running backwards and forwards when you're, um, when you're grinding, so. Let's see. Uh, let's just uh, get some. Oh, they're TMs. Raw, skill swap, dig. Oh, we can get a TM for dig. We need that. In fact, I'm going to get another TM for brick break. Because I've got loads of money now. Absolute loads of money. And what's this guy, Sal? Okay, this is what we want. We want half potions. We've got 10. But like I say, I've got loads of money, so I can buy another 20. Let's buy some antidotes. Paralyzed heals, maybe. We might get some spored. Awakenings, because I haven't got the poker flute yet. Uh, we won't need burn eels or ice eels, will we? That should be fine. We should be fine now. Hopefully. So we are going to go into Erica's gym. And we are going to go in... Uh, I'm going to battle all of the junior trainers and just see what levels they are. I'm, I'm terrified of any gym leader, basically. I do not want to get destroyed again. We need to use the TM case here. We need we need cut on somebody. And this is the one time where actually I really want to teach cut to somebody because 
We are going to need it in the gym. We are desperately going to need it. So, I'm going to teach you to fill, I think. No, I'm not. He's got his moveset's too good. Whereas, Fire Pits is awful. So, we can get rid of... Mm, Crush Claw is actually quite good. Get rid of Quick Attack. Okay, what else can we learn? Uh, Fire Pit can learn Dig. So can Photon. And Erwin. Okay, so there's some good... Especially because we can buy Dig. So let's get rid of Swift for Dig. And Brit Break. I can learn Brit Break as well. And so can Erwin. What else has Erwin got? Crunch. Ice Punch. What's his last move? Agility. Okay. That'll do me. Let's cut through, cut down this. Okay. Let's see what's going on in here then. I actually want to put Fire Pit out front. Uh, I was going to talk to that old man, but never mind. We're going to put Fire Pit out front. We really want him to uh, to level up. And he will do off one trainer, off one Pokemon. He should level up. So let's see uh, see what this uh, this little lady's got to say to us. Well, got, it, got in store for us, should I say. Last K. Sends out a Weeping Bell, level 28. Okay. That kind of suggests that Erica's going to be a higher level than Giovanni. To me. Level 28 Weeping Bell is quite high. Uh, Fire Pit grows to level 36, which is nice. Uh, and a Sunflora. Alright. Um, let's go into Nikki. We've got three Pokemon for this gym. So, we do have three Pokemon for this gym. So, 31. Mm, I'm worried. I am worried. Let's battle our way through. Let's battle our way through, see where we get to. Nikki grows level 36 as well. And of course, here's the big thing right now. We needed this. Fire Pit is evolving into Typhlosion. I love Typhlosion. I love the entire Cyndaquil line. But uh, Typhlosion is such a cool mon. Such cool mon. Beautiful. Your Fire Pit evolved into a Typhlosion. Hi. You can talk to me as well. <coughs> oh, excuse me. If I do end up coughing at any point during this episode, I do apologise. My girlfriend's just been there throwing forever Roche at me, so... <laughs> She's just giving me a well-confused look. <laughs> Execute goes down. So that was level 27. Cacnea. Okay. Flame Wheel's animation looks really cool, by the way. I haven't been paying attention whilst I was doing the grinding for it. Looks really cool in this gen. I'm used to the whole um, it spiraling round and then the, the sparks off sort of thing. But that's really cool animation. I like it. And Cacturn goes down. Hey, okay, so we're one shot in everything. Right now. Uh, but he, he lulls you into a full sense of security. I'm going to put Swift out front after... Because Fire Pit should level up here. I'm going to put Swift out front. Try and get her leveled up as well. Her? Him? I can't remember if he's a male or female. So if we can get everybody up to level 37... Also, don't know which uh, what level 
I learned Flamethrower. That'd be nice. Flamethrower would be lovely, actually. Oh, I never took fly. We should go do that. Just in case we need to get up out of there. So how much damage this wing attack does to Weeping Bell? Yeah, it kills. It still one-shots. So maybe we don't need fly? I don't know. We'll throw it on there. We're going to need fly anyway, so we might as well put fly on any flying types that we get. I just thought as well, our entire squad is fully evolved. The entire squad is. For the first time in the series. Get rid of focus energy. Just sit that right on his forehead. Right on the middle of his forehead. Let's go and battle this girl over here. Hi. Battle me. Weren't you peeking in earlier? No, I wasn't actually. He was a 85 year old man. I'm 10. So, wasn't me. Nice. We're getting crits for days as well. Doesn't doesn't really bode well for the uh, actual gym leader, but it's fine. Rosalia goes down. So much experience from Rosalia's. So obviously, we, like I say, we've got three Pokemon that can take on Pokemon in this gym. Also, um, Phil can swap into anything. Phil can swap into anything that he wants. So, I very much doubt that we'll... Um, I don't know. We're going to have to see how it goes, aren't we? I'm expecting the main problems to come from additional typings, so I'm I'm really expecting a either a shifter or a cacturn in there, perhaps a jump bluff, uh, definitely a victory bell and a vile plume, or maybe even blossom instead of vile plume. Wow, this girl's got a grow vile. I don't know if I'm expecting any starters. There's so many choices with grass types, though. Rosalia, I'm not expecting Rosalia. But obviously, like grass types, you've got you've got poison that you can have as a secondary type. You could get a Breloom, which is a, a good secondary typing. Although it does make it, uh, Swift makes easy work of it. Um, and then here's the Shiftry. Uh, which... Okay, I'm just going to go into Fire Pit. I think Fire Pit's just got the more more attack here with its... Ooh, level 34! They are terrifying levels. They are terrifying levels. It's got Harden. Help. <laughs> Help, it's got Harden. Super Potion, that's not going to heal it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's still going down. It's still going down. I'm really not sure what order you're supposed to do these things in. Like, we could... I could actually turn around after beating all of these girls and say, no, nah, actually, I, I think we're going to go and um, do the Pokemon Tower. I don't know what level they're going to be at, though. <laughs> Playing a new game scares me. Like, it's like, I know the game so well, but obviously I don't know these levels. I don't know the Pokemon that are going to be used. I don't even know the movesets that Pokemon can have. And most of the time, when you're playing through the original games, you can pretty much guarantee that it's not going to have a, a very good moveset. 
Well, it's not going to have an amazing move, so they'll probably have VTM that they give out at the end. But these, you know, we, we've seen Surfing Raichu. We've seen Starmies with um, Thunder, Thunderbolt Shockwave. Executors with Psychic. Please kill Swift. Oh, no, we don't kill. He goes for Magical Leaf. He choked. He choked. I think I actually think Psychic might kill. I actually think Psychic might have one shot this. Because Psychic's a lot stronger than Magical Leaf. Friendly and Aerial Ace. You know what? I almost taught the TM for Aerial Ace. I'm glad that I didn't now. Can't miss, so it's better than Wing Attack in that respect. Okay. Oh, this terrifies me. This terrifies me. Can I just go for it? Do I just go for it? Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. Hello. Lovely weather, isn't it? So pleasant. Oh dear, I must have dozed off. Welcome. My name is Erica. I'm the leader of Saladon Gym. I'm a stud student of the art of flower arranging. My Pokemon are solely of the grass type. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea that you wished to challenge me. Very well, but I shall not lose. Alright. Please don't. Please don't destroy me, Erica. You look nice. You look very kind. 32 for the victory bell. Okay. Aerial Ace. Mmm, no. Doesn't kill. <laughs> Sensible Source Dance. Okay, let's take it out, take it out. I almost considered double teaming on that victory bell. Ludicolo, that's going to have Ice Beam. I forgot about Ludicolo as a Pokemon, actually. Um, I've got no poison type moves on Phil, otherwise I'd go straight into Phil. But then again, he's got Ice Beam. Must have Ice Beam for it to be going into it here. Is Nikki my best bet? I can't do a whole lot. I mean, Ice Beam's just strong regardless. So, we're going to go into Nikki. And we're going to pray that this Ludicolo's got nothing scary for, for Nikki. It's level 31, so... Sets up the rain... Okay. That's not bad. I don't think that's bad for us. He's got Swift Swim. This is Rain Boosted Surf. Doesn't do that much. Doesn't do that much. He's got Swift Swim, not Rain that Dish. Okay. Jump Luff. There's got to be a reason. Sh sh she must have something for me here. But what? Has she got a bug type move on there? I'm, I'm swapping. As much as I would love to stay in with Nikki and just ice beam the hell out of that jump bluff. I just feel it's got a bug type move. And jump bluff probably will outspeed me. I'm not entirely sure. But it probably will. That did nothing. That did absolutely... Oh, it's because it's rain. It's because we're in the rain. We're going to crush Chlor it then. Chlorophyll jump pluff. So he's, he's probably going to outspeed now. Yeah. Irritating. 
But I don't think this jump off can do anything to Fire Pit. And that's our first turn of Sleep Burn. Right there. So, as soon as we wake up... Uh, no, it's going to do nothing. I'm, I'm a Typhlosion. <laughs> it did nothing. I'm a Typhlosion, it's the jump off. Can Flame Wheel miss? Is this jump off holding Bright Powder? Is this jump off holding black Bright Powder? Because I don't think Flame Wheel can miss. I don't know. It's definitely holding Bright Powder. Or what's the incense? Is it lax incense that makes things miss? Do you think this jump off had a fire type move then, seeing as he's got Sunny Day? I don't know if it learns any fire type moves. It's just a thought. That's why she went into it off on the Jinx. Blissey. Well, you lied to me straight away, didn't you? You completely lied to me. Blissey. What do I do against Blissey? I could go into Erwin. Erwin's got Brit Break now. I go into Erwin and Brit Break then, don't I? Probably got a grass type move. But. Is he going to live long enough to use it? Ooh, nearly. T wave. Okay. What happens this? Leftovers. She's probably going to heal now. Yeah. I'm not sure that'll heal enough health. Oh, it does. It does get it to full. I mean, what do you think this Blissey's got? Do you reckon it's got a Grass-type move? I'm not so sure. Sizing Toss. 34 damage. Alright. And are we on the last Pokemon now? Feel like we're on the last Pokemon. Vileplume. Um, Swift has got the, the highest HP total at the moment, so we'll go back into Swift. It's not the last Pokemon, we've got two more. Level 35, I think this will be a race. We're going to fly. Yeah, tries to put me to sleep, which I'm kind of glad that I avoided. Um... Oh. Okay. Okay, we've got to burn our first turn of sleep. We still outspeed. Wow. Swift really is swift. Swift really is swift. Okay, we need to switch out for that leech seed from that leech seed. Blossom. I said that she'd probably have a blossom, didn't I? Uh, I'm, I genuinely think I just go out into Nikki and and hit the nuke button with Ice Beam. I know I'm low on HP, but it's a blossom, you know. It's, it shouldn't live in Ice Beam from a Jinx. Should not live in Ice Beam from a Jinx. If it does, I'll be surprised. Nah. Alright, that's our fourth gym badge. Oh, I can see defeat. You're remarkably strong. I must confer on you the rainbow badge. Alright. 
Maybe I've had your make Pokemon up to level 50, okay? It also allows Pokemon to use strength in and out of battle. Also, please also take this with you. TM19 is Giga Drain, I believe. TM19 contains Giga Drain. Half the damage it inflicts is drained to, to heal your Pokemon. Wouldn't you agree that it's a wonderful move? Yeah, I would, actually. I do like Giga Drain. I do. I wonder if um, it's been buffed at all, like the PP of it. be nice if the PP's higher. It's got 10 PP. And it's 100 accuracy instead of the... Um, the 95 accuracy of Razor Leaf and Razor Leaf is less powerful. So I'm actually going to teach Giga Drain to fail straight away. But Phil didn't see any battle there, so we actually managed to do it with our core three that we've uh, that we we I said that would battle through this. Oh, and of course, um, Irwin managed to get some playtime as well. So that's good. One of our new Pokemon got playtime. Two of our new Pokemon. But, uh, yeah, we got our fourth gym badge, which is awesome. That is, that's cracking. Gonna go heal up, and then I'm gonna start making my way back over to Lavender Town. And, um, yeah, we'll, we'll end the episode off. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. I, I'm, I don't know why I'm saying all that. We've still gotta walk over to Lavender Town. I'm gonna pick up Psychic on the way through as well. Just to see who can uh, who can learn that. I've already done the T. I've given the T to the guard as well. So. Let's, uh, let's head in here and, and go out psychic. Wait, don't say a word. You wanted this. I did. Actually, you know. I did. You already know, don't you? TM29 is psychic. It's an attack that may lower the target's special stats. Only lowers special defense, I believe, now. So. Is he special defense or special attack? Special defense. So, yeah, I was training on these trainers because if you use the Versus Seeker here, like, if you hit it there, you can get, like, you can get a total of five. You avoid, avoid battling this guy because he's got a self-destruct coughing. But the rest of them, uh, they don't give great experience, but, you know, it's, it's better than battling wild Pokemon. And then all you need to do is run back to the Pokemon Center in Lavender Town, and then you can go and use it again. Also, if you're training up grass types and electric types, head up to, head up to this guy here. This guy has got a Shelder and a Slowpoke who give decent experience. So, if you can just one-shot them, that's pretty cool. So, we're going to end this episode off here. Uh, standing outside the Pokemon Tower. In the next episode, we will be scaling the Pokemon Tower, taking on our rival, Luke, and uh, hopefully not having any troubles the same as we have today. So uh, if you're excited for that episode, and if you've enjoyed this episode, please do leave a like down below, comment and subscribe. You know that I appreciate everything that you do for me, all of your support. And thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Stay brave, guys. How will I sit in silence? How will I be denied? I was not born to fall.